I never thought that this unboxing would actually ever happen. Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. We have a double bag unboxing which I'm so excited about one of them I never thought I would actually be able to get after months and months and months of refreshing the website and it not being in stock um, but I managed to get lucky and I've also got a bag that's been on my wish list for a good few months now and I got it at a great price in the sale so we are going to be unboxing these two bags together but before we do that we need to head to the shops and do a little bit of luxury sale shopping. So I'm planning to head to Flannels now. Flannels is a designer store here in the UK, um, just because it's quite close by and their sale is honestly, I would say in the UK, like the best. I will pop links to everything in the description box down below for you so that you can shop this video super easily, including the two bags that we will be unboxing. Um, but one of my main reasons to head to Flannels today is actually I've been looking at buying some designer trainers I feel like I'd like to add some in my life because I don't really have um, a pair of designer trainers that I find super comfortable and they have the Alexander McQueen oversized trainers marked down in the sale and rather than order them online and potentially order the wrong size and then have to do the whole returns process and exchange it I just thought I'm just gonna head into store today try some on and take a look at the range of course we'll be checking out the sale bags as well online they have an incredible range seriously they have like say Saint Laurent, Givenchy, um, just all the most incredible brands. So if you haven't checked the flannel sales out yet, um, I would say head over there as quickly as possible. Again, linked down below for you. They do ship worldwide, um, but if you are watching from a different country, I would just double check uh, duties and taxes uh, for shipping overseas. Um, but I do know they do ship worldwide as well. With no further ado then, let's head to flannels to do some luxury sale shopping arguably my favorite type of shopping and don't forget to get involved in the comments down below because i love to hear from you guys what are you liking the look of from the sale pieces we are about to go and see and also my two new bags okay let's head out here we are then flannels let's take a look we have lots of alexander mcqueen here so lots of the knuckle clutch satchel bag this one is a mini size white croc i love the gem on the knuckle as well as the skull i just really like this detail here we have a medium size in sage green with the gold i feel like these colors work really nicely together here we have a bright green but this one doesn't have the detail on like the knuckle part of the bag I much prefer the ones that do have that detail I think how do you guys feel about it here we have the mini in like a pheasant dark green I think that again works so well with gold a plain one here in black croc not feeling this one so much this one's probably my favorite though it's like this kind of padded leather I really like that with the detail on there this would be just an absolute classic edgy looking bag okay let's head upstairs now we have some Canada Goose jackets loads of footwear and I'm seeing loads of sale tags so I'm very excited let's first take a quick look at some of the sale shoes what do we have here we have some Valentino here are the rock stud shoes in sale. Uh, we have it in this like pale pink color. How much are they reduced to? 579 pounds down from 720. We have the pattern and we have this other one. I'm not so sure about these shoes though. I think I prefer like these mule styles with the bigger, um, these ones are just over 500 pounds. I'm not sure what the sale price is because there was only one price on the tag. We have some Balmain, some sliders, Jimmy Choo though. Wow, I have been debating these. They look like they're quite comfortable and they'll be super easy to just put on with a pair of trousers or a skirt. I really like this detail. These ones are reduced down to 559 pounds, down from nearly 800 pounds. So a nice few hundred pounds saving there. And they also have the patent red here, but I think... I think I prefer the black, but the red ones are definitely quite a statement. And then here we have the bonbon bag. This is the mini size and look at the handle here with all the jewels in. And it is in this beautiful like electric blue satin. How do we feel about the bonbon bag? It's a bag that I keep looking at more and more. Is it in sale? Um, it doesn't look like it, 1,400 pounds this one is. No sale price on there, so I think it's still full price. And then we have the matching like electric blue shoes. 
I love these. These ones have like gems that would go around your ankle. How much are these? £399. That seems like a sale price. I'm not too sure. Um, that seems quite cheap for a pair of Jimmy Choo shoes. Um, and here we have one. I think I prefer these actually that kind of go up with the straps. Which one do you guys prefer? The gems or the strap versions? yeah it would go really perfectly these ones are 339 pounds i think it'd go really well with this bag for a complete look here we have some more patent ones with pearls 539 pounds it doesn't look like there's a sale price on these and more of the bonbon bag this is the micro so this is tiny it would definitely not fit your phone inside but how cute is this um i think actually i prefer the bigger size i feel like it definitely would be more practical this one, £965 in candy pink. This one, because it's in leather, um, these come in like diamante sequins. This one, because it's in leather, I feel is more of a very fancy everyday bag. Like I'm thinking brunch, I'm thinking cocktails in the middle of the day. So it's not maybe an evening bag. And here, this is one that I've seen online. And this is in like a satin blue. It really stands out. I really like the color. It has like a tie closure here, which I'm not so sure about. And I feel like a zip would be good because it's quite a small bag and maybe things could fall out of it. What do we think to this one? There is a gold sequin one as well. Fortunately, it's not here, so I can't show you, but I do quite like the bag. We have it in black satin here and like a light lilac purple. I do like the way it kind of folds. Okay, now on to the Alexander McQueen trainers. The trainers that I want to try on, there is a huge, huge range here. I have never seen so many. Look at all of these. Like, honestly, it's all dedicated pretty much to Alexander McQueen. We've got some slides here. Oh, I quite like these with the straps over the front. They don't feel too heavy either. This one with the logo on the front, I actually think I prefer the strap version. These ones are reduced down to 175 pounds, down from 250. But yeah, I think I prefer these. What does everyone think? I'd probably go for the black, but actually I really like this pale blue. It's kind of got glitter in it as well. It's like rubberized. I feel like these would have maybe a bit more grip on your foot. Um, 395 pounds, it doesn't look like these ones are in the sale. But yeah, I quite like these. I'll definitely consider a pair for my next summer holiday. And oh wow, look at these black, holographic oversized trainers let me know what you think i strangely quite like it i mean they might be a bit too much for my personal style um but i'm really liking them these are marked down to 489 pound down from 540 pounds so a bit of a saving there not a massive one but you know every little helps when it comes to luxury purchases loads of sale tax here guys so these are the ones that i'm going to try on um, they are the most, probably most basic version. Uh, they are reduced down to £359, white with the black on the back. We've got the solid black. Um, and then glitter. Do we like glitter trainers? Like, I think these look beautiful on their own. Um, I don't know personally how I would style them with an outfit. £359, again, reduced down from £450, so a bit of a saving there. We also have the gold glitter. So we have the white ones with the gold on the back. How do we feel about these? I quite like these. These ones, again, are in sale. £409, so about £40, £41 saving there. And then we have the all gold. So this isn't like glitter. It's kind of coated. The glitter is coated, um, so it feels smooth to the touch. Reduced down to £429. Again, I really like the look of them, but I don't know personally. I would probably go for the ones with the glitter on the back, so it's not too much. We have some Balmond bags here in sale. This, oh, I'm not sure about these trainers. We have the Balmain Buzz bag. These always seem to go into sale. I don't know, I feel like they've never quite taken off. What do we think? Let me know in the comments. But personally, I'm not so sure about this. Uh, reduced down to £1,319, down from just over 1,500. Black leather, you know, technically this is a classic in terms of the colorways. But I personally am not too sure about the like top handle. I just, I'm just not feeling it. I feel like maybe a round handle would be better. Balmain, we aren't even going to go there. Um, I don't have any Balmain, uh, Balenciaga, sorry, and I won't be buying any either. So we're going to skip that section. Celine, we have some Celine bags. I am very surprised. This is the Celine box bag. This was voted the third most classic or timeless bag of all time in our last survey video that we did. Look how beautiful the leather is. I really need to add a Celine bag to my collection. And wow. This is so beautiful, like more beautiful than I thought. Again, really simple, but an absolute classic. 
Let's see if this is on sale. It is reduced down to two thousand and thirty nine pounds, down from two thousand five hundred. So like a five hundred pound saving on this bag. I'm super frustrated because this isn't the one that I want. I want the Triumph bag, the Teen Triumph. And um, as much as I like the box bag, um, I think I'd prefer the other one. So otherwise, I definitely would have gone for this. We have the Celine belt bag here. This is the Pico size, so one of the smallest ones. But I still think my phone would fit inside here. And let's see if this one is in sale. This is in like a grey, 1,450. It doesn't look like this one is in sale. If it is, there's no sale tag on it. So I'm not sure of the price, but I really like that it's got a zip closure. So this one is quite a secure bag, even though it's small, very understated. And I love the grey. I feel like that would go with everything. Now we do have the Celine bag here on sale, much bigger tote bag. Again, zip closure, thought of everything. Let's see if we can find the price inside here if not i might need to go onto the website no unfortunately i cannot there is no price on the bag so i'm not sure what that's reduced down to but i prefer the belt bag anyway some bags from stella mccartney this is the falabella bag in black with silver personally i prefer the ones with gold hardware just because i'm a gold hardware kind of girl and then gucci what do we have here we have some oh this is my favorite like floral print from gucci ever these are super lightweight Oh, wow. And they are in the sale. £235 down from £290. Pretty good saving there. And it, like I said, this is one of my favourite prints from Gucci ever. It's been around for quite a long time now. Here we have some leather mules. Oh, I like these. £500 and I think £80 there. Yep. Um, doesn't look like they're in the sale, but they are classic. And the Sylvie bag. Out of all the Gucci bags, I think this is one of my favourite bags. I'm just not sure which size to go for, red or black. Here we have like a camera bag with the horse bit on the front. The caramel coloured leather here looks really beautiful. We've got a strap. Let's see, is this in the sale? I don't think it is in the sale, but a classic. Okay, a few from the late Vivian Westwood. Oh my gosh, this news was awful. Let's take a quick look at the bags. Personally, I prefer Vivian Westwood's fashion as opposed to the accessories. Um, I remember at one point I loved all the orb stuff. I do quite like this mini bag. This is really cute. Um, but I think the fashion is where she absolutely shined. Some from Mulberry. And we have some sale pieces. Let's take a look. This is a bag that I've been looking at online. I'm not sure about it, but I do really like the kind of handle on this, like the really thick handle. That is lovely. Again, um, check out the website for these sale prices because they might update them and reduce them even more. We've got the Lily, a classic. The Mulberry Alexa here in like a sorbet kind of color, like an off-white. Let's see if we can get a price. It says 1,250, so it does say, it's in, well, it's in the sale section, but I don't know what the sale price is. There's nothing on that tag, so I'll pop that back there. But yeah, how beautiful is that one? Some from Givenchy. This is the Givenchy Tote. I like these because they have a detachable crossbody shoulder strap. Don't think that one is reduced. I really like these. I have been looking at them for a while. These ones actually look maybe more comfortable, more practical for running around. Uh, these ones are, are they in sale? Yeah, they are £389 in the sale. Okay, that's quite a good price, but I think I prefer the other ones. We're going to have to try the other ones on. Which ones do you prefer? The other ones are not marked down. And here we have the Antigona bag. Oh, I love the Antigona. This is a Twilly, £115, not in sale. I quite like um, a Twilly actually on the Antigona bag. Here we have some sliders, no price on these. So again, I'm not sure if they are in sale and some loafers a bit similar to the uh, Gucci ones, a scarf and a hat. Here are the Alexander McQueen trainers. Let's give them a quick try on. So these ones are reduced down to 359 pounds down from 450. Yeah, I do like them. And I've also tried the Givenchy ones on. The Givenchy are oversized um, here. I probably need to size down to a size four, um, but the Alexander McQueen, I forgot to film, but they fit very true to size. What a fun little trip. I really enjoyed that. I always love visiting the flannel store. So many incredible brands all under one roof. The Alexander McQueen trainers. I actually felt like I preferred the Givenchy trainers. Um, I would say the Alexander McQueen definitely fit way more like true to size. And I would say the Givenchy ones were definitely oversized. With no further ado, we have here a double bag unboxing. 
And we're going to start with this one here. So this bag is from a brand that I have never ordered from before. I have been on the waiting list. I pre-ordered this months ago to try and get my hands on it. One of my wonderful subscribers on Instagram actually messaged me saying that you can put pre-orders in now. If you aren't following me already, my handle is at handsbag underscore holic. Let's see what we've got. Yes, this is a Numero Nerf bag from Palen. I even love the packaging. It's like this iridescent box with gold lettering on the front. This is setting a standard already. Okay, let's take a look. So this is the Numero Nerf, the number nine bag from Palen. And I have been waiting for this particular fabric for the longest time. Okay, in the box here, we have a little card from Palen. Let's undo the tissue paper. It's so beautifully wrapped. Okay, we have this dust bag. Okay, this dust bag feels so thick. Again, really great quality. Here it is, the Numero Nerve Mini in a crew shearling. Oh, oh, wow, it is so soft. I am actually in awe of this bag. It also comes in black, but I really wanted the Accru. And luckily the Accru is the only one that I could actually pre-order. So let's take a quick look inside. We've got a little tag on here. We have some hoops on the side of the bag for this detachable cross body strap. I really like that they've teamed it with this like tan colored strap. So you can just use it as a top handle bag, but I will definitely be adding this strap on. So let's just undo this. You pull it out, thread it through here, and then just simply do it back, back up there. We can adjust it. It says Palen on it as well. Put it on the other side and then here we go, a shoulder cross body bag with a magnetic opening. Is this not the most adorable shearling bag? It is so soft to the touch. It feels like and looks like a little cloud. Um, I really like as well, like the tan color detail we've got with the strap and inside of the bag, like the leather. Oh, so this is my first Palen bag um, that I have ever purchased, the Numero Nerf Mini and I love it. I can definitely see myself adding lots more Palen bags to my collection. If it's a brand that you've not heard of, it's kind of like high-end, high street kind of prices. Um, you get a lot of bags for your money and they have some really beautiful, like I love the way that the leather folds on a lot of their bags. Obviously this one is shearling, but the leather versions, again, just like all the kind of ways that it folds. I have wanted a shearling bag for quite a long time. When I saw this one come out, I would say about six months ago now, um, it's been sold out for so, so long. And um, as soon as I saw this, and I saw the price point as well, and just the way that it looked, it's actually my favorite shearling bag that I think I have ever seen. And I think the price point is great for a bag like this because shearling is going to be a lot more high maintenance than um, a leather bag. For example, like if this gets really wet, it's obviously cream. So if anything goes onto this bag, um, I am going to be in trouble. So I didn't want to spend thousands on a shearling bag. And I think this was just the most perfect solution let me know what you think in the comments i will probably do a full review in a few months time when i've had chance to use this bag and i might also buy another palen bag so we can do like comparisons and reviews but let me know what you think do you have a palen bag in your collection i will definitely be adding more and let me just show you quickly what this looks like on you can use the top handle look at this oh my gosh it's like i'm carrying a cloud i love it and this is the mini size and then you can shoulder it like so um, you can you can adjust the strap here if you want to um, i'm five foot six for reference and this is on the kind of middle setting it's not on the longest it's not on the shortest and to show you what this looks like cross body i think i might extend the strap a little bit more so that it sits slightly lower because this is probably quite high in my body here but yeah Oh, I love it. I think I'm just gonna like sit stroking this bag whenever I use it. Now let's unbox my sale find. So I ordered this from the Farfetch website. Um, I have honestly hundreds of items in my wish list on Farfetch and it's really great because I just refresh on there and then I can see whatever it is that's in my wish list. I can just see the new sale price. That is exactly what happened with this bag. I refreshed my wish list and just by chance, um, this one was reduced down. It is a bag from Chloe. Here we go. Uh, so I have had this bag before, so you might know if you are a subscriber which bag this is, but I have been wanting it in this particular colorway. 
for ever since it came out basically. I went straight to the stores to see it. So this is the Chloe Woody and this is in the small size. There is a new mini size which is smaller than this um, but I definitely didn't want the mini size, I wanted the small. So the Woody tote bag in the caramel coloured leather and it has Chloe stitched into the leather and then let's take a look inside here. So we've got all the uh, like Chloe tags inside of the bag and then it has also a detachable crossbody shoulder strap. Um, I really like this size of bag because it can fit everything that I need for every day, especially when I'm vlogging in London. This bag isn't too big, but it's not too small either. Like I can get my headphones in here, a bottle of water and a few of my like everyday essentials. It is getting quite full at that point. But um, yeah, I do know that this size works for me because I had the canvas version originally. I did sell the canvas version and the reason being is as soon as I saw these I was like there's like and I saw them in person as well they just feel and look so much better quality I feel than the canvas ones so for me well worth the investment so these retail I believe at just over £1,200 here in the UK I managed to pick this one up for £850 and if you watched my recent Black Friday mega haul if you haven't I'll pop a link to it up here and down below I highly suggest you watch that because I picked up some incredible pieces at amazing prices this being one of them if you saw that so this is the chloe woody sandals in the same color and these were i believe these retail about 400 pounds in the uk i don't know how i managed to get these again on farfetch for 175 pounds they went down to they're from brown's boutique in the uk and yeah this bag was basically inevitable after I got these sandals because now I can be matching. Let me know in the comments what you think to my two new bags, my sale find and the bag that I never thought I would be able to get my hands on. But I have, she is here. I'm going to take very good care of this bag. I am so over the moon with these. Now make sure you don't go anywhere because coming up next, I'll link my latest video release here for you. And over here, we are going luxury shopping in London. I have found some of the most beautiful bags in the world at Harrods. Enjoy. 